Hello! I'm sorry it's taken so fucking long, but today we're gonna make chocolate Pokemon muffins. Finally! You're gonna see how it's done. It's really easy. Here we go! We're going to make Pokemon muffins and we're going to make them right because I made them about four or five times before and they all fucked up horribly. Let me show you. See, these are the ones that I thought were going to work out and then they turned into fucking messes because the icing sugar just bollocked up completely. The cakes were okay but the icing sugar was messed up. But we're going to get it right. We're going to do it right. Okay, for the muffins we want 200 grams of self-raising flour, 170 grams of caster sugar, 170 grams of margarine, or butter, whatever you want, margarine I'm using, and two large eggs. And as per usual, just add everything into the mixer. While that's mixing, set your oven to gas mark four, preheat it. Yum, yum. Okay, the next thing we want to do is colour our different Pokemon. So we've got our food colour there. I've got just your basic red, yellow, green and blue. So what you want to do is take a dollop of this and put it in a separate bowl. Let's make Bulbasaur first. Okay, so we're making about two muffins per Pokemon. So you want about two cupfuls of dough in your bowl. So you can dye the whole lot at once. And when I say cupfuls, I mean muffin cupfuls, so that you can put, so that you can fill up two muffin cups, okay? Now Bulbasaur isn't entirely green, he's kind of turquoisey, so we're just gonna add a little bit of green, a, just a, a tiny dollop of green. I'm just gonna put a spot in there like that. And just a little bit of blue. So that's my Bulbasaur shade. I think that'll do. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up a cup halfway. So just put your Bulbasaur mix in there, just fill it halfway. And now we're going to take some very special chocolate. Uh, I love Nutella. You can put whatever you want in your muffins, but Nutella is, is a surefire winner if you're a chocolate fan. So just take about a spoonful of that and put it inside there. Just rest it on top, you don't need to push it down or anything. Yeah! And then take more of your muffin dough and just cover up the chocolate blob. So they're all ready. So I'm gonna leave those in there for about 15-20 minutes or until they're not looking like a pile of shit. Hopefully. Fingers crossed! <sighs> okay, so while those are baking, the next thing we can do is we can make the icing sugar for the top of them. And basically it's just like the Triforce Muffin icing sugar, only it's not going to be all bright yellow, aside from a certain someone. <laughs> so you've got your 100 grams of butter and 225 grams of icing sugar. It helps if it's softened already. <laughs> That's why it was so easy. So that it's nice and creamy. And put it to the side and mix it in. Wow. Om nom. Hey mum. Hey camera. Look at this fine surplus of blackberries we've got from the garden. Is it really our garden? It is. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> oh, give me another, give me another. They're so good. This woman isn't just my gardener, she's my mum, which is really good. Lovely smooth mixture like this, you see? Wow. Now I'm gonna have a sandwich. Okay, I've taken them out of the oven. Please don't sink, please. Let's touch one. It feels firm. Oh my God, so does that one. Oh my God, they all feel firm. Yay! Oh. So we've got all the icing now, I was doing that earlier. 
The plain icing without any colouring at all would be good for Meowth. And I've got my orange stuff for Charmander, Pikachu, Squirtle, Jigglypuff, Bulbasaur. What else I've got for decorating are these kind of tubes that I got at Sainsbury's. It's caramel, white chocolate, dark chocolate and milk chocolate. They're good for drawing on faces and stuff. I've also got Smarties, milk chocolate chips, almonds and marshmallows for ears and noses and stuff like that. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going to do Jigglypuff first. And before we do anything else, we want to make her ears. This is useful to remember for Meowth and Bulbasaur as well, because they've got the same kind of ears. We're going to take one marshmallow and we're just going to cut it into a kind of point shape. So it's not going to be domed, it's going to be kind of pointed, like a Pokemon's ear. I'm sure you know what that looks like. And that should work well as a Jigglypuff ear. We're going to make two of them, obviously. Now this is where the caramel squirty stuff comes in. I like to use this as glue. Now you can use the icing sugar as glue, but I find this to be a little less messy, a little bit more effective. So I'm going to squirt some all over there. Like we're back at primary school with the PVA. Oh yeah. Didn't you love that? Sticking things down? Those were the days. Now I'm going to take the pink icing sugar mix that I made and we're going to start pasting. I might want a knife for this. The last thing we're going to do with these jiggly puffs right now is we'll take a bit of marshmallow, you can use a bit that you chopped off before and we're just going to make a little circle out of that. We're going to take this sticky swirl and put it on the top. You see that is going to be Jigglypuff's little curl. It doesn't have to be swirly on the top but if you can make it swirly then that's kind of cute. Yeah. Of course Meowth is a normal Pokemon. Now what the fuck does normal mean? I mean no one wants to be labelled, you know. But I don't I never understood what on earth normal meant. I don't think Kangas Cones are very normal, but apparently they are. They're normal, they are. So are far fetched. How however the, the plural of far fetched is. Far fetched are normal. But the very concept of their name implies that they're not normal. <sighs> Pokemon's really mysterious, isn't it? Now for Charmander, I'm still making this shed up as I go along, we want to make his nose. So I'm going to do a very shallow little marshmallow sized circle in his face. Now what I've done with this marshmallow, if you can look past the icing for a second, is I've kind of chopped it so that it's round at the top. I'm going to squish that in there. Oh, there's a crack there already. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> Don't give up on me now. That'll do for Charmander. And all we have to do for Squirtle is just cover him with blue because Squirtle's just such a basic bitch. There we go. Pikachu, right. What we want to do is we want to cut two holes at one end for Pikachu's ears. So two holes like that. Take your marzipan, break a chunk off it, and kind of mush it around a little bit. We want to warm it up so that it's like Play-Doh. And once it's a bit more pliable, Start rolling it into a nice tube. Roll up your sleeves. <laughs> Don't want to get all your clothes mucky in this process. There we go. Two Pikachu ears. 